Welcome to Subramani. One query which uh, I have been getting these days is how to invest in a debt fund. Uh, there are many ways of investing in a debt fund. You could put some money right at the ultra short bond fund and some at the gilt, right? The full spectrum you can invest. You can put some money in credit risk fund. You can put money across the spectrum or you can put money in an all bonds uh, fund where the fund manager takes the call as to which end of the uh, maturity curve he should be. So, for example, right now, if you're getting 7.1% or 7.2% in a floating rate fund and you're getting 7.5% in a long term guilt fund, uh, is it worth taking the duration risk? Why would you take a duration risk when you know that both are yielding the same thing? You might as well be in floating rate because as the interest rates go up anyway, floating rate fund rate will also go up. Whereas in the guilt, Chances are if the if better quality guilt, if better yielding guilt at 8% or 8.15% come, then you will take a hit in your portfolio. So, you are better off being in a floating rate fund. But if you don't want to apply your mind on a regular basis, should I be here, should I be there? There are funds called the all season bond fund or uh, you know, things like that where you go and put all, all your money on a monthly basis. So, so let me, so let me cut and start afresh. Um, for most people, uh, having four PPF accounts at home or maybe five if you have an HUF or if your parents uh, are also there with you, so your, your mother, father, wife, one child and yourself and an HUF, you got five or six uh, PPF accounts. Six into 1.5 is 9 lakhs. So only for people investing beyond 9 lakhs uh will there be need for a long term debt fund requirement at all short term you may keep an ultra short bond fund short term income fund or floating rate fund which you need for three two months three months six months one year you may keep in any of these funds make sure there is no exit load other than that there is not going to be very different or you will keep money in a liquid fund if you require it in 10 days you will not even go to floating rate fund or arbitrage fund when you require for such a short period of time it wouldn't really matter so then you can uh, apart from that you, you may not have any debt uh, instrument requirement at all so 9 lakhs per year is going into debt in ppf uh, your own pf also there is debt so let's say husband is also putting money in own pf wife is also putting money in old pf children are not uh, yet started investing their own money so your beyond your requirement of debt is being met by your provident fund it is being met by your ppf uh, everything together let's say, let's say for this family including provident fund nps uh, the uh, pf ppf e, uh, epf and vpf all put together 13 14 lakhs is already going into debt and you want to maintain a 1 is to 1 ratio so another 15 lakhs is going into equity so only for families investing beyond 30 lakhs which is 2 and a half lakhs per month do they need to look at a bond uh, at all otherwise uh, they don't need to from a long term point of view but in the long term uh, this uh, floating rate fund uh, is not going to be of great help because then you may want to you want something at the uh, longer end of the curve also let's say interest rates in india have gone up to 8% and you think 8 is a fantastic rate so you want to lock in some money at the longer end uh, then floating rate fund is, may not make too much sense and you also realize that floating rate fund is now giving you 6.5% but the long term guilt fund is giving you 8.15% or 8.2% current yield. So you may want to lock in some money there. So then you put some money there and you put some money in floating rate fund and, and or or you put you look at that all season bond fund and you look at uh, where is the fund manager investing. So if the fund manager is slowly shifting uh, his uh, is increasing the duration he was at 1.2 uh, years duration now he's gone to 3 years duration please understand duration increase also happens very slowly you can't just overall go from one year to 10 years that's not the purpose of an all season bond fund that he may do in a guilt fund saying okay i'll take longer maturities i'll take 30 year maturities because i'm getting better returns there but that also will have to be done very conservatively looking at various things but that is for the fund manager to uh, plan when you put money in an all season bond fund you are sure that the fund manager will take uh, the call as to at which end should I be? Should I be even looking at credit risk fund? 
right because largely for most of us when we go into debt fund we are looking at capital preservation uh, maybe capital preservation post tax post uh, uh, post inflation may not be very great maybe we may be getting 1% or half a percent or sometimes even minus 1% that is largely a place where you want to park because you don't want to put all your money in equity that's all so that does not have a purpose it's not that three months later you want to remove money from that that money is an ultra short or you say i'll keep money in all season bond fund and since i've been keeping it for the last eight nine years that will also serve as my emergency fund so my emergency fund is also my all season bond fund and my all season bond fund also takes care of my asset allocation so in a month i'm investing uh, 100 rupees 90 rupees goes so uh, so that is what this all season bond fund can do for you so you have to be very clear what you want from your debt portfolio uh, short term liquidity ultra short bond fund longer term uh, you have guilt which is a 10 year 12 year 15 year 30 year view uh, you have longer term guilt and short term guilt you can choose that you can choose credit risk saying uh, well i want some extra uh, return on my debt also though personally i don't think credit risk is a great fund uh, to be in uh, for most uh, investors uh, especially if you're watching this uh, because i think uh, take all your risk in equity take there is no point in taking risk in debt because in last uh, 40 years that i've been investing i've never seen a company coming and saying we have done extremely well so we're going to pay the bondholders extra 1% doesn't happen you will continue to get whatever contracted rate you have 3% 5% 7% 12% whatever the contracted rate is what you're going to get so if that is what you're going to get you should be uh, why should you be taking risk in uh, debt fund risk uh, I somehow feel risk is better off uh, you're better off taking risk in equity fund than in debt fund thank you One thing which I uh, forgot to add in the uh, debt portfolio is uh, you will uh, you will diversify your portfolio across maturity, right? So you will have some short term maturity, which is could be your ultra short bond fund, floating rate fund, uh, though that kind of fund, a liquid fund if you want the money in a few days, or uh, so putting money in guilt, which has got a ten year view or a thirty year view. You will uh, go across uh, credit risk also. So you want to be very conservative. You will be guilt and triple A kind of a thing. Suddenly you say, no, I want a little more uh, yield. So you will go to double A or double A minus. Uh, you will uh, also take credit risk knowing that you are taking credit risk that is the problem once you take credit risk that is not a problem the fact that you do not even know that you are taking credit risk and what can go wrong that was taught to us in uh, 2020 by one fund house which brings me to another very important thing diversify across fund house so if you think an all season bond fund where the fund manager takes a call whether to be in uh, floating rate or in guilt or where where you know that whole uh, gamut credit risk uh, please diversify across fund houses i don't want you to have three crores in one fund house i want you to have one crore one crore one crore in three fund houses right uh, so across fund houses is very important because we saw what uh, risk they took and how uh, we got hurt because of the risk that they took and which we didn't understand. Thank you.